for General Magic, my job was, you know, touch screens and LCDs and product on the physical layout. Should we, how many buttons should we have? What kind of, uh, you know, Port. ports and, you know, what kind of power port and what other ports? We created something called Magic Bus. Um, with Tony and others, and it's, it's very much like Walt and that, like the way that USB works today, so it was very early. So we we're up to all these things, made lots of devices in the team so that our, my colleagues could be programming their computer, but they could use something, could pick up and touch. It was a little bigger than this, but prototypes like that, did tons of work with that. Yeah, so in the film we see you uh, with, with the general magic device and you say, okay, this doesn't work or it's not responding. Yeah, and there weren't any, there were touch screens, of course there were some for certain applications, not, not for a generalized application. We didn't, you know, what screen size should we use? How, what should this device be? How should it feel? What size? And so working with suppliers, all these incredible LCD manufacturers who are making television size, how do we get something small? like this. What about touch screens? There were different kinds of inventions. Some that were separated by dots, some that were using the electrical difference, some that were one idea that Wendell had for strain gauges that would just feel you push different ways. So it was really the basic technology for all the things that were coming together for the physical device to work. And I was in the hardware team which was also working on the boards. So what chips and designs there, how we're going to miniaturize this stuff. Because it was, you know, everything we were working on was typically shipping in a large computer, not in something you could carry around that you could put into your pocket. 